My name is Tiffany Weitzel, and I am a grain buyer at an ethanol plant. Ethanol remains a topic that conjures up a lot of emotion with the general public. Misinformation tends to run rampant while facts get buried. I'm going to share six common ethanol myths with you and the real facts. Myth 1. Ethanol producers are dependent on government subsidy. The facts are corn ethanol production is not subsidized. Previously enacted ethanol subsidies expired in 2011, and those subsidies went to blenders and oil companies, not to growers or ethanol producers. Big Oil continues to receive almost $4 billion in taxpayer support despite continued record profits. Myth 2. It takes more energy to produce ethanol than the finished product provides. The fact is, according to the USDA, ethanol is more energy efficient to produce than gasoline. For every one BTU of energy used to make ethanol, Ethanol provides a 2.6 BTU return. Myth number three, using corn for ethanol dries up corn prices and makes food more expensive. The facts are farmers produce more than enough corn to meet both food and fuel needs, and new corn that's grown for ethanol wasn't grown at all prior to the renewable fuel standard. The biggest factors in food costs are transportation costs, including fuel, processing, and packaging. Just 11.6 cents of every dollar in food costs can be attributed to the cost of the raw food itself. Myth 4. Making ethanol uses up corn that should be used for food. Food. The facts are, the corn used to make the ethanol isn't the same corn that you eat. And one-third of every bushel of corn used to make ethanol is turned into nutritious animal feed that goes back into the food chain. Myth number 5. Gasoline blended with ethanol will damage your car's engine. The facts are, ethanol is the most extensively tested fuel ever brought to market, and consumers have been using blended ethanol fuels for decades. The EPA approved E15 fuel for use in all cars made since 2001. This is based on more than 6 million miles of testing on 86 engines. NASCAR has run nearly 5 million miles of races on E15 fuel. Myth 6. Growing corn for ethanol damages the environment by causing land to be deforested and increasing use of farm chemicals. Well, the facts are, thanks to modern technology, today's corn growers are producing more corn on less land with fewer resources per bushel than ever before. According to the Fertilizer Institute, in 2010, farmers grew nearly twice as much corn using half as much fertilizer per bushel compared to 1980. The impact of removing the renewable fuel standard on Michigan's economy would be the loss of $260.5 million in economic activity from the lower corn prices, $172.8 million in economic activity from reduced ethanol production, and the loss of 288 jobs. I hope this brief video has provided you with answers to some of the more common misnomers surrounding the ethanol industry.